Marty the Savage Coding YouTube channel. Uh, this has been a long time coming. Um, what's Savage Coding? We do small batch, custom Cerakote, firearms supplied by customers to us with some sort of vision in their head about what they want, how they think they want it to look like, uh, lots of Instagram um, uh, uh, inspiration coming our way. The goal of the channel here, we're hoping to show you a little bit about how Cerakote is done, um, walk you through befores and afters of customer supplied firearms. Uh, so we'll show you the firearm, we'll show you what they gave us or the part, sometimes it's not even firearms, give you an idea of what the customer was asking for, and then walk you through a little bit about how we're planning on achieving that look or that goal for the customer. We also do stippling uh, on all polymer frame firearms. So uh, you've probably seen it, it's where the standard factory texture for the grip zone is, uh, is ground off. And then a new pattern uh, for aftermarket stippling is then laid down using uh, a hot iron. Uh, lots of different tools, lots of different ways people can do it. Some people use a wood burning tool, something as simple as that. Um, so what's the goal of the channel? Why, you, why, why build a YouTube channel? Um, you know, you got a successful Cerakote business, been doing this for about four years. Well, why would I want to start doing something new? Um, this is a side gig for me. Um, I, a lot of my customers come to me, they're expecting this to be a full-time thing. They get here, they find out, hey, this is a side thing for me, it's a passion project. But, you know, uh, somebody told me once a long time ago, you just put as much effort as you can into things and when there becomes a problem, because you don't have time to deal with the level of business that you have or the in interest people have in your hobby, uh, then that's a good problem to have. So uh, we're getting close. Um, the goal here is to build a YouTube channel, show you guys some of the things that happen, uh, gain more business. If you're interested in Cerakote, if you're interested in stippling and your grips, uh, go ahead and go to my website, www.savagecoding.com. You can look at all my pricing, you can shop, you can check out, you can send me your firearm, we can do everything over the internet, you can call me, do anything you want. But the goal here, the reason I'm starting this YouTube channel is to give you some really cool stuff to look at. That's number one. Uh, number two, to give away builds. So we're gonna do before and afters of customer supplied firearms, but we're also gonna do industry collaboration builds, and then those builds will be giveaways. So as we hit certain strategic numbers of followers, we're gonna start with 1,000 followers, then we're gonna to move to 5,000, then we're gonna do 10,000. So at each one of those big milestones, we're gonna give something cool away. We're gonna talk a little bit about that today. We're also gonna do product reviews uh, on the channel. So um, I've been really surprised. I've reached out to some of my industry contacts, people I met at places like SHOT Show um, back in 2019. 2020 I didn't go to, 2018 was good as well, but I've reached out to some of those folks um, and asked them, hey, you guys got any products that I can review? I'm gonna put out a YouTube channel. Not even having a YouTube channel, I've been so surprised how many people have been willing to send me stuff. Yeah, heck yeah, man. Put it up, we'd love to see you review it. So we'll be doing that. Uh, one of the first things we're gonna review is the Nomad Defense 9, Nomad 9 frame. So what's that thing like to shoot? What's it like to put together? What did I learn about it? It's also gonna be part of the custom build that we're gonna give away. Additionally, we're gonna do just shooting lifestyle videos. So. If I'm out at the range with some buddies, uh, if we're having a shooting weekend, I'm gonna capture some video of that and we're hopefully gonna share that with you too so that uh, you get to share in some of the fun, get some ideas uh, of fun things to do when you're out, um, either target shooting or at your favorite range, uh, at the gun shop, different stuff like that. Current customer, before and after, we're gonna call it what's on the bench. That's gonna be the name of the videos when they come out. So keep your eye out for the what's on the bench uh, playlist that we'll add to the YouTube. First thing we have right now is an FN 509. Uh, let's dive up close. Let's take a look at what this FN 509 is, what the customer was asking for, and how I'm planning on achieving it. There it is. Bam. Bam. That's the FN 509 right there. Cool looking gun. Sorry, I've got it all the way pulled apart. Um, I did this uh, in advance of starting the YouTube channel, got this thing pulled right apart. I was a little worried about this um, forward locking block pin, uh, which is known to be a little bit of a challenge. But here's your FN 509. What the customer was looking to accomplish, uh, they were actually inspired by something that I had put out on Instagram um, the week prior, which was a two-tone um, midnight bronze and black savage camo 
on a slide frame and then a full stipple job. And they, they hit me up on Instagram and said, hey, look, that thing's awesome. I want you to do something exactly like that on this FN 509. This is actually for another um, gun dealer who's actually gonna resell this. Um, so we're gonna go Savage Camo, Midnight, uh, Midnight Bronze and Graphite Black on the slide. Same thing, extending that down onto the frame of the, of the FN here on the 509. It's gonna come down, we're gonna have it on all the uh, trigger guard on the forward part of the, uh, of the frame along the, along the sides and around the back strap. Now, on this part, on the actual grip zone, which if you look up close on this thing, these are gnarly from the factory. I mean, they've got some of the most aggressive texture that you're gonna find on a firearm right out of the factory. And all of that is gonna be ground off. You have to grind all this away in order to lay down an aftermarket um, stippling job. So the goal here will be to connect some of these pieces uh, all in one solid line. So we're gonna come around the mag release. Uh, we're gonna come down, we're gonna do what's called a medium tang. And when you hear somebody refer to the tang, that's that has to do with how far up this back strap that you take all of your stippling. I'll show a few examples of that. Um, and then this has a removable, um, the removable back strap here. So you'll knock this pin out and then this back strap will slide off. Um, this being a mid-size, we're gonna leave this piece um, in place and just go ahead and grind off. And we're gonna need to leave some sort of a border around the edge to make this look nice and and they're looking to have the the area that ends up being stippled black so you'll have like we said earlier you'll have graphite black and midnight bronze graphite black and midnight bronze in a blurred savage camo on the slide in the frame and then you'll have a black grip zone also gave me three of these mags and what they're hoping to do is have me do the same type of stippling i'm going to do on the grip zone on the magazine base. So that's the FN 509. So that's the FN 509. That's the what's on the bench build. So the customer supplied piece. The other thing I said we're gonna do, we're gonna be highlighting some industry collaboration builds. I'll reach out to contacts. I'm gonna get some things that people think are cool right now. We're gonna build some custom guns. I'm not gonna show you how to do it. Can't do that on YouTube anymore. Um, but I'm gonna show you the before, all the pieces, and put together the actual firearm. You're gonna watch me customize it, and then we're gonna give that thing away. And that's gonna happen at some very strategic milestones in the number of followers. The first thing we're doing, and I'm gonna show it to you, Nomad 9 has supplied a Nomad 9 frame, two of them actually. I bought one of them, the other one they gave me, and I got a magwell and a backstrap that's gonna come along with it gonna be part of a custom build that's in partnership with Nomad 9, Killer Innovations, and uh, Strike Industries. So um, let's dive in, let's look up close, let's see what we're working with here. And um, when we hit 5,000 subscribers, that bad boy is getting given away to somebody who's following both my Instagram and this YouTube channel. So let's check it out. This is the Nomad Defense Nomad 9. I think this thing might be the best looking um, Glock 19 frame that's out there. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that bad boy. Let's move this box out of the way. It's already got the CMC trigger in it. That does not come with it. Um, I got excited when the CMC trigger came and threw that in there. I think that looks good too. One of the complaints about this CMC trigger is that it could potentially hit the actual housing of the Nomad 9, so the trigger guard down here. If that happens, I'm just gonna go ahead and grind away some of that trigger uh, trigger guard, but um, we'll see once we get that pin kit uh, in there. But look, I don't know, man, it looks pretty close, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, comes factory stippled here. Um, I'm not sure if we'll leave that or we'll take it away. I haven't decided yet. If you've got an opinion, let me know down in the comments. Um, this one also has the backstrap and magazine well extension. Uh, I installed those separately. That does not come factory on the Nomad 9 frame. Uh, that is definitely an add-on and it's really difficult to get it. I'm giving this exact setup with this backstrap and this magwell flare 
don't, not the trigger, don't get excited, uh, to one of my followers at 5,000 subscribers to the YouTube channel. So follow my Instagram, follow my YouTube, and you might end up getting this, this exact frame without the trigger. See them together. Ooh, it's a good look. Let me know what your guys' opinion is. I mean, so far what I'm thinking is we're gonna go with um, sort of a mud brown or a deep muddy green, maybe jungle green if we decide not to go with the dark look on the frame. And then we're gonna do a black grip. And then I'm, I'm trying to decide, maybe we play around with this back strap and do it to match something I do with the slide. I think that might look kind of cool. Like if we went, you know, deep, like a deep brown on the frame or even that jungle and then like a lighter gray or like a silverish color on the slide and then had that back strap and this magazine well match that or even just the just the back strap and leave the mag well black. I don't know. A lot of guys might look at this and think, oh damn, that thing, that thing's cool. Why would you change it? Um, I don't know, because I can, because I got a company that does it. So um, that's, that's what we're looking at right there, guys. So go ahead and make sure you're following me. If you're not doing it yet, subscribe right now. Um, keep your eye on the channel. When we hit 5,000, I'll do a big giveaway uh, and we'll do some custom, uh, custom build videos as we go with this thing. Okay, so that's the custom build that we're working on right now. That's the industry collaboration build. Uh, make sure you guys are following. If you're not following Instagram and YouTube, you're not entered for the chance to win 5,000 subscribers. You're gonna get a Nomad 9 frame, backstrap, and magwell sent your way, and you'll get a good idea of how you wanna customize it. So thanks everybody for watching the first video. I hope this goes well. I hope you guys like what I'm putting out there. If you don't, if you do, just make sure you comment in the comment section, let me know. I'm also gonna put up every discount code that I have available in the comments every single time I post a video. So that list is just going to continue to get longer and longer and longer. Uh, so follow along. This is a great place to get discounts. Hope you guys are really going to enjoy this. I think it's going to be really fun. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Check out my website, www.savagecoding.com. It's in the Instagram. It's in YouTube. It'll be in the comments. It'll be easy to find. Give me a call if you want something done. We'll see you next week.